time to kiss my room goodbye because we are going to Disney's Contemporary Resort for a staycation tonight. Welcome to Disney's Contemporary Resort, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose of Disney. I'm here with Jojo. We're Hello, having a how we doing? we're I'm having sorry, a little staycation here, here today. It's uh, gonna be fun. We're gonna go check in, show you guys a little little tour and a room tour. We don't really know where our room is yet. We still gotta find that, but really excited to be here. If you enjoy this tour, make sure you like it, subscribe, ring that bell. It's a uh, very overcast day today, as you can tell by the clouds. It's pretty warm out though. It's about 74 degrees. Just very overcast. On October 1st, 1971, when Disney World was open, the Contemporary Resort was built. It took about a year and a half for the completion of the construction. In my opinion too, if you guys love the Magic Kingdom, the Contemporary is one of the best resorts to stay at because simply you can walk across and be in the Magic Kingdom in five minutes. Possibly a little known fact about the Contemporary is that it was actually gonna be named the Tempo Bay Hotel. But when Roy Disney actually heard cast members talking about the Contemporary, which was actually their the build name, the construction name, he loved it, and then he changed it to the Contemporary Resort. Keep in mind too, this year in 2021, you guys will not be giving the, getting those complimentary magic bands when you check into your resort. You have to bring your own or just use your phone because that's what I do to get into my room. I don't really use any magic bands, but uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. We're about to go check on in, even though we are technically already checked in via mobile. They don't really do check-ins at the front desk anymore. Unless you guys have like some room changes you want to do. This is valet. We self-parked. Valet is a little bit too expensive for us. However, I am really actually excited to be staying here. This is my first time staying at the Contemporary. Checking another resort off my list. Welcome everybody to the Contemporary. They'll serve us directly to the left. Right behind me is check-in, and this is where you guys will come if you guys have any of those burning questions or like anything that you need. Jojo was just there because he wanted to get toothbrushes, but again, you don't really have to check in here at the Contemporary because it's all done on your Disney Experience app, on your phone, on the computer, so you should, once you guys arrive, you should already be checked in. Here's the Wave. We're actually going to be going to the Wave tomorrow because they have unlimited mimosas in there. It's a bar and you can get some food there. Good breakfast option here at the Contemporary, but we're gonna head on up to the next floor, which is gonna be like their convention center. And then we have to go up one more escalator to get to the next floor, which is gonna be their main concourse area, as you guys will see in a second. Now, since this resort was open when Disney World opened, it's got like a lot of history and some cool little facts about the Contemporary Resort. Currently right now, we are on the conference center floor before you get to the main concourse, which is just right above us. Downstairs is gonna be where the check-in was. This is where fancy businessmen and women have conferences or whatnot. A lot goes down on these floors. It's actually really kind of fancy. It's pretty cool. Couldn't say I've spent a long time on this floor, but I do some, know some cool facts. One of the presidents of the United States was actually in one of these convention centers, and it was President Nixon. It happened during his Watergate scandal. He actually delivered his famous lines, I am not a crook in one of these convention centers, which is actually kind of cool that a president of the United States was here. But obviously as guests, you guys aren't gonna be spending like pretty much any time on this floor, unless you're going to California Grill, because California Grill check-in is right here. You take the elevator on up, but we're gonna go on the escalator, go to the main concourse to show you guys that real quick. As we're headed on up, do me a favor right now, comment down below if you guys have ever stayed here at Disney's Contemporary Resort, or if you guys do plan on staying here, let me know. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. I'll be willing to ask, I'll be willing to answer any of the questions you guys have. Technically, now we are on the third story of the Contemporary, the main grand concourse here. And as you can see, the monorail runs right on through. Now, welcome to the Grand Concourse here at Disney's Contemporary, the main building of the Contemporary. It's actually home to Chef Mickey's, which is character dining here, the Contempo Ca Cafe, which is gonna be a quick service, and then they have a gift shop as well, right over here called Fantasia. We're in like the main concourse area. It's 14 stories tall, the Contemporary main building is, because they actually have a south end, which we'll be staying in the garden view. Over 500 rooms here in this one big building 
in the contemporary building. There's actually a cool way on how they actually constructed the contemporary, all these rooms that you guys are seeing currently right now. They were manufactured in a special plant near the site of Walt Disney World property, but they were built by US Steel on assembly line at the rate of approximately 15 rooms a day. They call them honeycomb rooms basically because they put the rooms in once they were done building them off site here inside the contemporary and they inserted them like they were honeycombs basically. Each of the rooms weighed about nine tons. So the reason why they built them off site was that because Disney thought they were actually gonna save time and money doing so, but they actually lost a lot of money by doing that because they found out on how hard it was to actually install these rooms. It's also really quiet in here. It's kind of crazy. I thought it would be a little bit louder. There's not too many people here right now, but it's actually really quiet in here. I just find that kind of fascinating and how they built the contemporary back in 1969, which is crazy that this has been around for so, so long. But now we're actually gonna to head to our room, which is gonna be in the South Garden over there. We're not staying in the main tower. You actually have to pay more to stay in the main tower. And then you actually have to pay more to have a like Magic Kingdom view. We didn't do that. We just wanted to stay here and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk on over to room right now. Check this out, the cast member is cleaning the escalator. Just for point of reference, so you guys know where we are, that's the Contemporary Bay Lakes right over there. This is where we'll be staying, the more affordable area, the Contemporary. You guys are about to see a one bedroom, two bed studio here at the Contemporary Resort. All right, let's head on in. It's very fancy outside, I kind of like that. I feel like I'm going into like a boardroom right now. And here we are, into your Contemporary Room. Right to the left is where your coffee is gonna be in the morning. And also you have your storage for clothes. They actually have a light inside. Not too many Disney resorts that have a light inside their closet. I'm standing currently in the bathroom. Just wanna take you guys into the bedroom real quick cause this is crazy cool. Hi Jojo. Turned on the, all the lights on for you guys. Got this really cool desk that I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. <laughs> I just feel like I'm in a boardroom. Got the mirror with some really cool lights. Look at that. Some nice artwork, some storage. These are gonna be, uh, I believe, queen beds. Two queen beds. And your TV. Resort TV. <laughs> Very cool. Also, this is awesome too, because I really like how there's like this mirror I love on this the wall. Dude, this couch is dope. Does it pull out? Yeah. So technically, it sleeps five. It's very spacious, like very spacious. I feel so weird. Man. Yeah, like there's there's a lot, a lot of room here, like a lot. I just feel like, I don't know why that's like, I just feel like there's supposed to be a projection on there. I would like there to be artwork there. There's a light on it. No, there's not. Yeah. yeah These curtains like, are pretty cool too. I feel like there should be lights for sure. Let me show you guys our view real quick. It's just at the parking lot. The view is not really anything great. It's where we just were. The view is not the best, honestly. Yeah, it's not really a good day anyway, so we don't really look at anything anyways. We're gonna keep this closed. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep it closed. But it's really, it's pretty big. I believe this is 453 square feet. If I'm not mistaken, I think I did my research and that's how big they are. But you can really tell how much space you have. Obviously at moderate resorts, you don't have this much space. The only place that I believe would have this much space that I visited before would be the Grand Destino Resort. But um, it's, it's very spacious. Reminds me of the Polynesian. Let's go to the bathroom real quick. Nice flooring too. Kind of caught me off guard. It's a sliding door. Here's a look at the bathroom. It's got red on the wall. Sinks are kind of low, lower than I thought they were, would be. But it's very nice. Wish the shower head was a little better. The shower's a little tiny. So far my favorite bathroom is still at the Riviera. Oh, sorry, Grand Florida Inn too. God, I don't even know which one my favorite one is. But yeah, this is our room. A lot of room in that bathroom. Let me know down below what are you guys' thoughts of the Contemporary Resorts room. It, I'm telling you, it is really spacious. It gets, you have a lot of room to work with here. Like a lot of room. Honestly, it's, yeah doesn't actually have a conjoining door either. I don't know if I, I they, they are like that, but I have a feeling we just have a non-conjoining room here. But highlight is so much space. For sure. A lot I, of space. I, 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 yeah. This is dope. Yeah. For this room, it was I believe it was $189, although JoJo did get a cast rate. It's only about 20% more of what you can get if you're an annual pass holder right now. So that's why we decided to come here and show it to you guys. It's very nice. Super nice. One thing I noticed here about the Contemporary is that there is no storage underneath the beds there. So as far as where your luggage will go, 
this nice corner right here for you guys to stack of them or maybe even under the desk. We actually don't even have a balcony either. Uh, however though, you can actually slide the doors open if you wanted to let the air in. Don't know if you wanna do that on a nice hot humid day, but that is an option for you. No balcony, but you could have a nice cool breeze if you guys are booking it within the next week. Also, there's a moving like desk. <laughs> but yeah, I guess if you wanna sit here and, and eat, you can do that. Maybe that's what people do it for. Aha, I just figured it out, genius. And that's how I'm editing my vlog today. And if you are wondering, they do have USB ports and basic oh. plugins for you guys to charge your cameras, your phones, whatever it may be, if you guys have USB power. But let's go check out the main concourse again and the pool. Let's head on over there. Kinda looks like a fireplace. Someone's got a nice little room right here. It looks like the only way that's, to get space is on the, the ground same, floor. That's the same, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the ground that's floor. floor. It's kind of the room we're staying in. It's just like that. And then that. the main concourse. And we made it to the pool. Never swam in this pool before. It's a really bad day out today. It's just so gloomy, but this slide is huge. Or walk from the south end to like the main contemporary really isn't bad at all. It's literally like a minute if you're worried about how spread out it is. It's, it's not. Deluxe resorts here at Disney aren't really that spread out. Here's a look at the map. There's the contemporary, like, you know, the main contemporary. This is where we are. We're like right here. It took us a minute to walk right here. Time isn't an issue to get from point A to point B here. Although if you do want to walk to Magic Kingdom, it is going to be kind of a little walk, but it's not that bad. Here's the pool hours, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's a really big pool, actually. Check out this slide. That looks like fun. They've got two hot tubs, it looks like. One right here and one in the middle with like water getting sprayed up. That looks like fun. I actually might go swimming a little bit later. It's open till 10. Hey, Jojo just said the water is not bad. They always keep it heated. I'm gonna go to the pool. I like it. I don't care if it's really out. It's very big too. I like that hot tub. The hot tub looks like so much fun. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't think they're doing it currently right now, but this is a really, really big volleyball court. It's actually huge. Wow. It's a pretty decent sized pool. If you guys are wondering if you can go over to the Bay Lake Tower to enjoy their pool, you cannot unless you are DVC but Bay Lake Tower can come over here to the Contemporary's pool and use their pool. Looks like they do actually have a quieter pool, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. I like that. Welcome to my private pool. I rented out the wow. pool just for us, Kyle, on this dreary day. Yeah, there's nobody here. Is it, is it heated? No, uh, it's warm. Is it warm? It's warm. I mean, I'd go into it right now. It's probably huh. a little cold on There's nobody here. There's so much space out here to just sit and enjoy and relax. Again, it's not really too crowded. A lot of people are at the parks, probably. We've got ping pong, foosball. I think you can rent these out. Yep, it looks like if you guys just see the nearest cast member, you'll be able to rent equipment for these games here. It's very quiet over here too. There's like nobody here. And now let's head back on into the Grand Concourse. Just want to take a look at the gift shops in there and where you guys can eat. If you guys have not done so, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps support me and help me grow my YouTube channel and being able to do this for ever and ever. <laughs> that is the main concourse right there. Convention center, check-in. Check-in, convention center, main concourse. The rooms. This is why sometimes I think staying at deluxe resorts are so, so important and kind of worth your money just because everything is so close together. You get from point A to point B. You don't have to rush on like Caribbean beach where it's so spread out. Everything's here. And here's another look at the lobby. I want to take another quick look at the gift shop, see if they have anything cool here. So it's a Fantasia gift shop here. The last time I was in this gift shop was in 2017. It's very fun. It's just like in the middle, you know, the contemporary, you can see the monorail go by. You get your Baby Yoda stuff here. There he is. The child. Oh, the pins. The pins. Now at most Disney resorts, you can't really get limited edition pins, but you can get them here at the contemporary. As I'm looking, they actually have the limited edition pins here. They do have an all important plus section here right behind me. So uh, you can get your little kiddo a little Mickey, these are really, really, really popular. So you don't essentially have to get them inside the park. Come back here to the Contemporary, and they're here. Tons of them, tons and tons of them. 
it's almost kind of like every single kind. Some of these, they weren't even inside Hollywood Studios when I used to work there. Big selection here at the Contemporary Gift Shop. A lot, a lot. <laughs> this was actually really funny for me to see. I didn't expect Joe to just be chilling here. <laughs> so what business are you doing today, sir? Did you make your multi-million dollar deal? You know, I'm editing my TikTok. It's gonna go multi-viral again. You know how it is. Look at the monorails going by me right now. I'm right by the market. This is where you can get some food items, some alcohol. If you guys wanted to buy alcohol a little bit cheaper than they do sell in the, you know, the the bars and whatnot. I don't know what you guys want, but uh, you can get your items in here as well. Basically, all the food items are gonna be tucked away in this little market place. Looks like you got the beer, the pizza, Eggos. All the food options are gonna be in the gift shop directly below the monorail and to the left of the main gift shop here. They also do have like a BVG. Don't know what that stands for, but I think it's like more of like a high-end gift shop because I can see some Disney art back there, some clothes, some polos. Yeah, lots of Disney art. So they have three gift shops here at the Contemporary. Lots of shopping opportunities here. A lot. Oh, this is kind of cool. They actually have their own Contemporary line. Look at that cup. I like that. It's kind of cute. I actually might pick that up. I don't even know. Give that to my mom or sister. Oh my gosh, they actually have like their own confectionery here too. They don't have this at a lot of the resorts. Where you can actually get your own caramel apple. Peanut butter fudge. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I can smell those apples. That is so cool. That's actually a very big tip for you. If you guys are staying in the contemporary and the confectionery, usually it's very, very busy at the end of the night. Come on over here to the contemporary, get your caramel apple. I'm gonna figure out when this store closes because it might be closed before you guys get back from the park if you are having a late night. Give me one second here. They close at 10 o'clock, so it should be open by the time you get back from your park day because the parks really aren't too long right now. Nine o'clock Magic Kingdom. It is, however, our day one day here today and that is gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna have a lot of exciting things happen tomorrow, but technically today we're gonna hop on over the Magic Kingdom. Might even go to the wave. We don't really know. All we know is we want to go to the Magic Kingdom and have fun. If you guys any, have any questions about the Contemporary, feel free to leave them down below. I'll probably answer, uh, answer them. And some of you guys might even help everybody out. But it was really cool, really fun. First time here. Check JoJo's channel out. He'll actually have a video up as well regarding the Contemporary and our stay. It's, it's day one. Excited. Can't wait to uh, go out and do some more stuff tonight. And tomorrow morning, the mimosas. I'm living mimosas. Can't wait for that. But like always, I'll see you tomorrow. Great. Like always, bang, bang. See you later, Bye. bang.